Hello, dear brothers and sisters in Christ. Welcome to the Blessed Messages for You channel. Before we dive into today's message, I'd like to make a special request to you, our viewer. If you appreciate our content and want to help us reach more people with God's Word, please don't hesitate to click the like button, subscribe to the channel, and leave a comment sharing your thoughts. Your interaction is crucial for the growth of this community and for us to continue bringing the message of hope to every corner. Today, we're going to delve into a topic that touches the heart of every believer. Trusting God's plan for our lives. It's a subject that resonates deeply in our faith journey, especially in times of uncertainty and challenge. How many times have we wondered about the purpose behind the events in our lives? How many times have we felt lost, questioning if we're on the right path? But how can we truly trust this divine plan when the circumstances around us seem to scream the opposite? How do we maintain faith when challenges pile up and the path ahead seems obscure? Let's explore together how we can strengthen our trust in God's plan, even amid life's most turbulent storms. First, it's crucial to understand that trusting in the divine plan is not a passive stance towards life's events. On the contrary, it implies an active and dynamic partnership with the Creator. The Apostle Paul brings us a profound teaching about this in Philippians chapter 2, verses 12 to 13. Therefore, my dear friends, as you have always obeyed, not only in my presence, but now much more in my absence, continue to work out your salvation with fear and trembling, for it is God who works in you to will and to act in order to fulfill his good purpose. This passage reveals a fascinating paradox. We are called to work out our salvation, to actively work on our spiritual journey, but at the same time, it is God who works in us. It's a divine dance between our will and God's will, between our action and divine action. Trusting God's plan, therefore, doesn't mean crossing our arms and waiting passively for everything to work out. It means actively seeking the Lord's will through fervent prayer, in-depth study of the scriptures, and genuine fellowship with other believers. As we face challenges, it's natural and human to feel fear or doubt. Our hearts can become apprehensive in the face of the unknown. However, the Bible repeatedly encourages us not to fear. One of the most powerful passages about this is in Isaiah chapter 41, verse 10. So do not fear, for I am with you. Do not be dismayed, for I am your God. I will strengthen you and help you. I will uphold you with my righteous right hand. Trusting God's plan also means accepting a fundamental truth. His ways are higher than ours. Isaiah chapter 55 verses 8 and 9 bring us a perspective that challenges our limited understanding. For my thoughts are not your thoughts, neither are your ways my ways, declares the Lord. As the heavens are higher than the earth, so are my ways higher than your ways, and my thoughts than your thoughts. The story of Joseph in the book of Genesis is a powerful and moving example of how God's plan can unfold in totally unexpected and, at first glance, disastrous ways. Sold as a slave by his own brothers, Joseph faced years of adversity, injustice, and forgetfulness. He went from being the favorite son to a slave, from a trusted administrator to an unjustly imprisoned man. For years it must have seemed that God had forgotten Joseph, that his promises had failed. But at the end of this tortuous journey, Joseph was able to declare to his brothers, in Genesis chapter 50 verse 20, You intended to harm me, but God intended it for good to accomplish what is now being done, the saving of many lives. This narrative teaches us a profound lesson. Even in the most difficult and seemingly hopeless situations, God may be working for a greater purpose. What seemed like a tragedy became the means by which God saved not only Joseph's family, but an entire nation. Another fundamental aspect of trusting God's plan is cultivating the virtue of patience. In our culture of instant gratification, where everything seems to be a click away, the idea of waiting can seem outdated or frustrating. However, 
the psalmist exhorts us in Psalm 27, verse 14. Wait for the Lord. Be strong and take heart and wait for the Lord. Patience is not just a passive virtue. It is an active and powerful demonstration of our faith. When we wait for the Lord's timing, we are declaring our trust in His wisdom and love for us. We are acknowledging that His timing is perfect, even when it doesn't coincide with our expectations. It's important to remember that God's plan for our lives is not a detailed map of every step we'll take. It's not a rigid script that eliminates our freedom or creativity. Instead, it's an invitation to a journey of faith, where we are called to trust and follow, even when the path is not entirely clear. Proverbs chapter 3 verses 5 to 6 offer us precious guidance in this sense. Trust in the Lord with all your heart, and lean not on your own understanding. In all your ways submit to Him, and He will make your paths straight. Trusting God's plan also implies being open to corrections and redirections. Sometimes, in our enthusiasm or impatience, we can misinterpret God's will or follow our own desires, masking them as divine direction. It's in these moments that the loving discipline of the Heavenly Father manifests itself. Hebrews chapter 12 verses 5 to 6 bring us a powerful reminder about this. And have you completely forgotten this word of encouragement that addresses you as a father addresses his son? It says, My son, do not make light of the Lord's discipline, and do not lose heart when he rebukes you, because the Lord disciplines the one he loves, and he chastens everyone he accepts as his son. A crucial element in trusting God's plan is keeping our focus on Christ, not on the changing circumstances around us. The author of Hebrews exhorts us powerfully in 12, 1-2. Therefore, since we are surrounded by such a great cloud of witnesses, let us throw off everything that hinders and the sin that so easily entangles, and let us run with perseverance the race marked out for us, fixing our eyes on Jesus, the pioneer and perfecter of faith. For the joy set before him he endured the cross, scorning its shame, and sat down at the right hand of the throne of God. This passage presents us with a vivid image of our faith journey as an endurance race. And what's the key to successfully completing this race? Keeping our eyes fixed on Jesus. Trusting God's plan also involves recognizing that we are part of a bigger story. Often, we focus so much on our own journey that we lose sight of the broader picture of what God is doing in the world. In Ephesians 2, 10, Paul reminds us, For we are God's handiwork, created in Christ Jesus to do good works, which God prepared in advance for us to do. This passage reveals several profound truths. 1. We are God's creation, not a cosmic accident, but beings intentionally created by a loving God. 2. We were created in Christ Jesus. Our identity and purpose are grounded in our relationship with Christ. 3. We were created for good works. We have a defined purpose in our existence. And 4. These good works were prepared in advance by God. There is a divine plan for our lives. As we walk in trust, it's crucial to remember that God's plan for our lives is intrinsically linked to our transformation into the image of Christ. This is a fundamental aspect of the divine plan that we often neglect when we think only in terms of external circumstances or achievements. Romans chapter 8 verses 28 to 29 brings us a powerful perspective on this. And we know that in all things God works for the good of those who love Him, who have been called according to His purpose. For those God foreknew, He also predestined to be conformed to the image of His Son. An essential part of trusting God's plan is learning to discern His voice and direction. In a world full of competing voices, media, culture, our own inclinations, how can we recognize God's voice? Jesus addresses this beautifully in John chapter 10, verse 27. My sheep listen to my voice. I know them, and they follow me. This metaphor of the shepherd and the sheep teaches us a lot about spiritual discernment.
Trusting God's plan also means learning to live in the balance between faith and action. There is a healthy tension between trusting completely in God and taking our responsibility to act. James chapter 2 verse 17 warns us, In the same way, faith by itself, if it is not accompanied by action, is dead. Trust doesn't mean passivity, but an active partnership with God. We are called to take steps of faith, to use our talents and resources, always in alignment with divine direction. As we conclude our reflection on trusting God's plan for our lives, I want you to remember, you are not alone on this journey. The same God who promised Jeremiah a future of hope is equally committed to you. He is faithful to fulfill his purposes in your life. Perhaps you're going through a time of uncertainty. Maybe you're facing challenges that seem insurmountable. Remember, God's plan for you is good. It may not be easy, it may not be what you expected, but it is good, because God is good. May we, like David, confidently declare the words of Psalm 138 verse 8. The Lord will vindicate me. Your love, Lord, endures forever. Do not abandon the works of your hands. Let's trust in God's perfect plan, knowing that He is working all things for our good and for His glory. Dear friends, I hope this message has touched your heart, strengthened your faith, and renewed your trust in God's loving plan for your life. Remember, you are loved, you have a purpose, and God is with you every step of the way. If this content has blessed you in any way, please don't forget to leave a like, subscribe to the Blessed Messages for You channel, and share with those you believe might be edified by this message. Every interaction of yours helps spread God's word and reach more people with his message of hope and love. Also remember to leave a comment sharing your reflections or experiences about trusting God's plan. Your story might be exactly what someone needs to hear today. May the peace of God, which transcends all understanding, guard your hearts and your minds in Christ Jesus. Until the next video, stay in the grace and love of our Lord.